me, me, me. Hello and welcome to the Narc Alert, or welcome back. I was overwhelmed by the positive reaction to my first Narc Alert on Amber Lynn, so I don't think we're quite done with her yet. Let's take a look at her second or third live stream, yeah. I guess, since right. the breakup. This is Amber Lynn Read the Breakup, one week in. Do you want to look at it? Every video starts the same, Amber preening and looking in the viewfinder at herself. Hi, Nicole and Princess Pickle and Aaron BB. So you guys are back together new. No. We're not. We are both single, which was fun as well. She time. is feeling her full delusion How are you guys? She Do has the breakup live? to garner love and sympathy from her audience. Yes, it was a good holiday. But she had a great weekend to. with Becky, Eric, Ricky, Becky's family, as if nothing at all has so, changed. I guess the new thing is that if my hair is up, it means I haven't showered. Love y'all. What is a lesson that this breakup has taught you? Whoops. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Am I still here? accidentally clicked out of the chat whoa okay what is a lesson that this breakup has taught you wishing both happiness thank you erica um a lesson oh man a lesson what has she learned like she's learned nothing she hasn't done anything wrong and has no culpability in any of this so what could she have learned so becky on the other hand is smart yet. And she will not actually say what she's learned because she knows it'll upset Amber. And if um, I'm guessing the dermatitis is the same, um, it's just really on my arms. It is so obvious yeah. that she has zero interest in Becky's health. No, honestly, it almost annoys her. Um, it takes away from her focus. Like... I don't know how to word it. How do you word it? What? Like, I thought we were forever and like you blindsided me. Who said that? I did. Oh, are you still on the- The lesson thing? one. Like what's, what's, what is a lesson in that that you can't trust everyone? <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay. She is so passive aggressive. Mm why i'm confused because i'm confused i have a couple options of like where i'm going to be moving to and honestly i i don't know what to do and i just got done crying about it man becky is teflon to this pity party this she's throwing super completely unbothered like, the minute i got home it's just like everything came flooded back to me and um it just i have to start being responsible again it was nice to get away a bit for the weekend i don't know i'm just sad and hurt and confused i do and love I the just, little micro expressions that becky throws all do. the time and i keep asking people for advice and everyone pretty much gives me the same advice so it's like i still don't know what to do so that's why I'm confused. I am in confusion. You can read some now. Becky isn't doing the live to Amber's where satisfaction. Are we at? She will control Do this. you want me to be in charge of this? No, I'm just gonna wear <laughs> I don't one. my phone's dead okay. or else I would have it. Nicole has bad dermatitis and dry skin. I do also have Cetaphil, but it's just not doing what I want it to do just yet. Um and thank you, Alice. Mm, I'm not answering that one. What was it missing? That one? That oh, one? okay. Yeah, you don't have to answer what you don't want okay. to. Becky is an yeah, adult. So she knows that she can chance, answer or not. Fly. You don't have to control that. Hi. This segment is rather long and really boring. So I'm going to speed it up, but it's kind of poignant because I want you to watch how Amber... Our head narcissist gets restless because Becky is stealing all the attention.
What's one thing you've been wanting to say to each other but haven't? Oh, Mackenzie. Ooh, we have, that's a good question. I think we said everything. Yeah, let me think, though. Becky knows she cannot say a thing. Amber, on the other hand, is trying to find a um, passive-aggressive way to take a little joke or jab at Becky. Yeah, I feel like we've said everything. Yeah, I can't think of anything. I wish I had something juicy, but I ain't got nothing because we've said it all. Yeah. The best way to show Becky your love is to support her, her journey, and her needs. Much love to you. You will get through this. Thank you, Laura. It's okay. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Adrian. Hello, Arisu Fujioka. Did you pronounce that wrong? Yeah, I tried. Okay, this is just a personal pet peeve, but I cannot stand her increased use of rat, 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 instead of saying right. Even Becky doesn't speak like that, and Becky's from Kentucky. My turn. Wait a minute. Hey, Becky, do you love the typo negative? Absolutely. Absolutely. She does. I love that. I love typo negative. I love them. Here you go. Wait. That's a good idea. We'll go back and forth like a few minutes back and forth. Okay, let me In other words, one. give me control back. This me. is yeah. killing me. Becky, I'm so proud that you realized you were being an enabler and realized you needed to back away from Amber. This is an extremely mature thing to do. It was a thing for me to want better for her and knowing that I was not what's better right now. Because Amber isn't buying this for one second. To take care of myself first. What concrete steps have you taken this far to go your separate ways? We are Separate ways is such like a weird way of putting it. Yeah. When most we're people break up, they do go their separate ways. Amber is clinging so hard. Yeah. Um, but whenever it comes to ending the romantic relationship we have started going through things that we've shared together and deciding you know do we want it or do we want to get which rid has of it? been really hard yeah i'm not saying this breakup is easier on becky because that's definitely not the case but when you look at it you know she broke up with me and passive I'm aggressively like, blaming becky oh for God. everything where do i go from here you know, she has all her answers. She knows where she wants to live and everything like that. I am extremely confused and her ducks are in order more than mine is, I guess. You could this say. is so unfair to Becky. Of course, in Amber's areas, needs and exactly feelings come first. Areas, so and going, Becky has yeah, to yeah, sit so there and like listen a, to like her, tell her over and so over again. It's just, you know. Is it awkward for you guys to do this now? Why do you live stream if it hurts you both? I care about you. This doesn't seem healthy and I can see it hurts you. No, it's not. We're not hurt by the live We're streaming. Not. I mean, the live stream's not hurtful. Hanging out's not hurtful. It's whenever we have to literally start thinking about moving is whenever it starts to kind of hurt. Yeah. This healthy breakup type of situation style deal is so foolish it only hurts when they think about actually breaking up yes that's the point do you think they tear off band-aids really really slowly too and you brought her so amberlynn this would be such an amazing time to try to find a therapist yeah narcissists will never do therapy <coughs> Trying to make Be Becky feel bad. She's so happy to be back sure. talking about herself again. Well, She's not even noticing that Becky is okay, choking. Uh, <coughs> I guess you can consider my feelings and thoughts tea. Wait, first, are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, I had a tickle on my throat. She proposed to me. This is all stuff we've talked about, so I'm not throwing shade, okay? She proposed to me, and we were in love, and we had some of our future planned so yeah she should feel like fucking utter shit for breaking my heart in the narcissist's twisted mind say I don't. this is, is a way is. of saying i'm right and you're but wrong i loved you and you left i don't me. want her to feel that way like i would what she said originally like is how she sense. truly feels made the choice that she this felt this character is the social mask speaking right calmly understanding being mature her we aren't in that buying. choice obviously 
Uh, can only imagine how abusive Amber is to Becky off camera. Judging by how rude and toxic she is being now. Do what you need to, Becky. Wishing you happiness. You guys, you got it all wrong. I'm just telling you. I don't understand what you mean, abuse. It can take a really long time after yeah, being with a narcissist to if truly I understand the damage that, that they've done to you. It's insipid and it's very subtle. And just go back where I just come from, so... Now that we're friends, we can throw shade in certain ways. She has a big mouth. Amber is taking every opportunity she can to put <laughs> Becky down, but always with a smile, because it's just a if joke. If I was abusing Becky, trust me, her family would know, her friends would know. Okay. Ah! Amber, can you live with a family member? I don't want to. She can't live with anyone. I don't want to live with She anyone. cannot let people see the real her, not even her family. Narcissists tend to have one main victim, and they can be a little vulnerable with that victim because they put them angry? down so hard all the time. Uh, the whole point of a relationship is to work through things together. I can see how hurt you are, Amber. You deserve someone who won't betray you. Oh my God, you. somebody's telling her she's right. I didn't know it was She loves that this call. I didn't read it and then read That's it. Okay. I just read it. Becky, why didn't you bring this up to Amber as you started feeling this way? It's not nice to spring this on a partner you were building a life with. I will admit it was very, very random. Um, she was at her family's for the weekend. It's no surprise that this was a complete shock for Friday. Amber. You know, Narcissists are generally unaware or normal. just don't care about their partner's feelings. Woke up on Saturday so they do not pick up on signals because they are like, completely self-absorbed. It was just really weird. I felt like there was a weirdness and I don't know, there was no arguing. We didn't argue, nothing. And she was like, um, what exactly did you say? Something like, we need to talk. I've been thinking about this for a while or something like that. And I was like, oh, oh, that's fun. Mm -hmm. Because what started the argument was me telling her how I felt. And it would happen a lot. I would tell her how I felt and we would argue. Um, that's also something that shouldn't happen. But it was something that I accepted. Blaming Becky again. I imagine the whole relationship was driven by how Amber felt all the time. I suspect one of the reasons Becky is leaving is because she was never heard, and it was always all about the Queen Bee. You know, because I do have my days where I'm just like, I don't want to get out of bed. I don't want to answer my sister's call. I don't want to have to talk to anybody. I don't want to have to... I suspect I what Becky to, really I mean, didn't want to do was to get out of bed and spend another day, all day, I, catering to Amber. Right. No I way she will say that. Be on the go because people depend on me. Yeah, I feel the same way. I relationships just clearly aren't for me. Like it is what it is. Like they're just not. We all know she so, can't be alone. Who is she kidding? I just want to be selfish. I've well, never, I mean, you I've have never, been. I'm talking about, like, I've never <laughs> been allowed Becky to... Becky has to done nothing but take of care of her for me. years. Yeah, and she calls Becky you've selfish. You've been in a relationship for over four years. With you. And then even before that, it's just like, I was in such a stupid, naive place. I was like... Um, when letting go of an ex, I had to ask myself, would I spend the rest of my life with me? The answer was no. I love them enough to know they deserve someone... Who could answer yes to help me grow i love that because while with becky i told myself and i told her repeatedly that she deserves someone so much better than me i said the same thing and i would cry about it and i like but i was too much in love and too selfish to actually break up with her but i knew deep down Becky deserves someone better. Let's Narcissists see, have to win at all costs. And when they can't change a bad situation, they agree that they're okay with it and they would have done it anyways. Do you feel if you actually lost weight and stuck to a diet, Becky would have stayed with you and not ended it? Uh, it's not my weight. It's not. Yeah. Because if it, if it had ever been her weight, why would I have gotten with her? Yeah. We know her weight <clears throat> is the issue. She can't go out. It makes her depressed, demanding, hard to live with. 
I would suspect almost all of their problems stem from her weight. String Queen's hot nails. Um, Becky hasn't said one mean thing about you and has taken a beat in owning her own mess. You are just being so rude. What can you own up to, ALR? I've owned up to everything that Becky has said. I don't understand. <laughs> this is so I'm delusional, so it's laughable. She's owned up to everything Becky admitted to. She doesn't see the problem. Like, we all know everyone is Team Becky, and it's fine, but, like... I don't think there needs to be a Team anybody. <sighs> because me and Amberlynn both deserve the things we want in life. And it's like, I can't give her those things, and nobody can give me what I'm looking for. But except yourself. for myself. Yeah. Um, what healthy steps will you take after... After Becky leaves. This um, should not be a hard question. Um, you could go to rehab for binge eating disorder. <laughs> cool, cool. Long weekend. I don't need to, thankfully. I haven't really been binging. I must say, I'm very proud of myself for that. She's doing well right now because one, she's in trauma, and two, they were away at Eric and Ricky's and families. She can't binge in front of those people. They're not vegan, they're vegetarian. Whatever. Which is easy for me, I don't really like meat much. Me neither, it just depends. You guys wanna have some fun with some trivia? How are we doing this? Um, do you, you want me any? to ask you them? Do you have, well you can ask some and I'll ask Amber's some. face tells us first. she's not happy with Becky setting the rules here. She's in charge. Here we go, stream is gonna be extra boring now. What? How about let's ask each other 10 questions each, and then whoever gets the most right wins out of the 10. Okay, you, well, I gotta finish. Becky this. is once again not doing things the right way. Amber's way. 10 questions each is not more exciting okay, than three right, questions right, each. She just needs to control everything. Okay. Mm. It was um, a. This one's called Drunk Stoned or Drunk Stupid. Stoned or stupid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Only talks about themselves. <laughs> Amberlynn. Why do you think I should get that? Because. Who do you think should get it? They should choose. She has they choose. thousands of hours of video of her talking about herself. And she doesn't know yeah, why she should it. get this question? All right. Read the next one. Okay. <laughs> Wait, you think I'm going to find someone in a month? No. I'll show you move on. I'm you. never dating again. She's incapable of being alone. We all know she'll be hooked up with somebody in a month or so. It's my turn. My turn now. You both were like, really? And I was like, yeah. I, I found this whole segment really you. uncomfortable. It's Amber trying so hard to convince us that Twinkie really loves her. I'm sorry. That dog looks Hi. terrified. Hey, whose turn is it? Chase's sh- And now Amber has become completely bored with Becky and her silly game. All she wants to do is stare at the camera and prove to us how much poor Twinkie loves her. Twinkie's not scared of me. Can't help but speak without thinking. They literally think that... Twinkie doesn't like me. That's not true. Like you. I want you guys person. to. Oh my god. I mean, do you speak Look at. Thinking? She looks pitiful though. <laughs> She's like, why are you holding me? <laughs> if you think she looks pitiful, then let the dog go. Yeah, I guess. It's way down to go to Chuck E. Cheese. Here, you yeah. me. Oh. I've never been. That's okay. a dream of mine. I want to go. Love you. Love you. Would take the last parachute. I love you. I love you. One, two, three. I love you. 
She did eventually let the dog go, and the stream just got more and more boring with them asking more boring questions and finally wrapping it up. So that's going to be our look at one week in to Queen Amber Lynn Reed Narcissus breakup. These two hour streams are killing me, I gotta say. But I hope you enjoyed it, and I'd love it if you subscribe and come back to see more narcissist alerts. Me. So much. I do everything. Me. I do a lot of stuff for everybody else.